Greetings Whitby School, Jack Creedon here coming to you from a quiet campus. So I've just come from the parking lot and as you come in the door, first of all we're going to ask that you hand sanitize, make sure you take care of that before you start off. And then of course, because everybody has to wear a mask, I've got my mask, I'm going to put it on and we're going to go inside and I want to give you a look at what some of the classrooms are going to be like when we start on September 1st. Come on in now and see what a typical Stepping Stones classroom will look like. Please join me. Rule number one that we will follow in all classes as required by the state, we must keep six feet of distance between student desks and spaces. And although we don't think about Stepping Stone students having desks, they will all have their own individual space where they can have their lunch and even a place where they can have their nap if they need that. And as you see, as we pan around the room, every child will have that space for himself or herself. Here's a good example of what we want to do in terms of making sure the children wash their hands regularly. We will gently and patiently help them remember to try and keep those six feet of space. We will put markings on the floor to remind them that this is the space that they want to be in as they're doing their work. It's going to be in compliance with the state regulations and it's going to help the children continue teaching and learning. That's what a Stepping Stones classroom looks like. Now let's go on into a primary classroom. Now remember, in Stepping Stones and primary classrooms, all the adults will have masks on, but the children will not be required to wear masks at this level. So come on in and let's see what a primary classroom looks like. You'll see we have a lot more space here. Every student will have his or her own individual space where they can work and keep their individual supplies. And if they need a nap, we will have these cushions that can be cleaned at the end of every day and wiped down. We'll have lots of wipes everywhere in order to have the children have their separate space. So there's plenty of room here. As you can see now, let's go across the hallway to our lower elementary classroom. You'll see that I have a different mask on. And the reason I'm doing that is because at this level, from lower elementary up to grade eight, not only will the adults have masks on, but we're gonna ask the children to wear masks too. We know from the experiences in schools overseas that children can learn to wear these masks. A lot more space. So in a desk like this, we'll put a piece of plexiglass right down the middle to add an additional safety measure for the children again keeping six feet apart and we'll conduct our classes in this area making sure that the children don't congregate don't cluster but when they do we'll make sure that we gently advise them and remind them of the important safety issues for keeping those six feet of distance now we're in a third grade classroom and we will in each of these desks put a piece of plexiglass down the middle right here, and you'll see that the desks are in compliance with the state regulation. This is how a typical third grade, fourth grade classroom will look for us when we open in September. Now we're in a very different classroom setup than what you've seen previously. So here's an example of a lower elementary class that would be set up in order to make sure we can get uh, good number of students in the space, but maintain that important distance as required by the state. Now we're in the science lab. The students are taller and bigger, so the tables and the chairs are taller and bigger. Here again is an example of where we'll put some plexiglass on this table to add to the distance and the protection for the students. You'll see that the desks are kept at a six foot distance for, from one another. The faculty member will be able to move around the room doing the kind of teaching that is more traditional with Whitby School. So now we're in another middle school classroom. Here's an opportunity for us to do more teaching with a group that stays intact. And that's gonna be an important consideration for us throughout the uh, fall semester under the state guidelines. So Whitby, uh, parents and students, thanks for watching this video about what's expected when you return in September. We'll develop our plans even more over the course of the summer, and we'll check in with you so that you know about it. Hope you have a good rest of the summer. Thanks for joining in. All the best from Whitby School.